Not every free tool is equal, and getting the first antivirus free app you see can lead to more bad than good. Some of them aren't capable of fighting threats, others are even malicious themselves. For you to avoid all this, I've collected a list of the best free antivirus for Windows 11 recommendations. If you're just here for only one best antivirus, then I recommend going with the Total AV Free Antivirus version. It offers strong security, an easy to use interface, and is overall pretty light on the system. It also doesn't bombard you with ads or upsells every 30 minutes, as some others do. The con of the Total AV Free version is that it lacks real-time protection, which would monitor your device 24-7. Without it, you'll need to manually run scans every week or so. So, if it doesn't have real-time support, why is it first? Well, it's a really tough antivirus. It earned top scores from AV test in protection and usability, and slightly lower in performance. AV comparatives gave Total AV the highest advanced plus rank. But let's do a quick test ourselves. The process is simple. I placed 10 malware files on my testing PC and ran the full scan. Total AV system scan took around seven minutes and found all 10 malicious files. The CPU usage was around 60%, so it shouldn't be that taxing even on older devices. But is the Total AV Premium worth the upgrade? I would say that the inclusion of real-time protection, ransomware defense, PC optimization tools, and cloud-based malware scanning makes it worth it, especially cloud scanning, which makes catching zero-day threats easier and lowers the resource impact. With the most expensive plans, you get a VPN, a password manager, as well as an ad blocker, so a full-on cybersecurity suite. And with my discount link below or QR code on the screen, you can grab it even cheaper. Moving on, my next best free antivirus for Windows is Bitdefender. Its standout feature is real-time protection within the free version. If the lack of it scared you from Total AV, then Bitdefender Free is your guy. In addition to offering malware scans and web attack prevention, its user-friendly interface makes it an excellent choice for beginners. Bitdefender lacks a firewall though, but if you're using Windows, it's not that big of a con. All right, let's see what other experts think about Bitdefender. AV Comparatives awarded Bitdefender its highest rating Advanced Plus, while AV Test gave it a perfect score. To validate these claims, I disabled real-time protection and ran my own test. Bitdefender successfully detected nine out of 10 threats. However, it's worth noting that its full scan duration took around 15 minutes, but it only used on average 60% of my CPU. Bitdefender's premium plans offer more features like anti-phishing protection and multi-layer ransomware defense. The Plus plan includes a free VPN, albeit with a restrictive 200 megabytes daily bandwidth limit. Opting for the all-in-one plans not only removes this limitation, but also integrates a Bitdefender password manager. My next recommendation is a Vera free version. It does come with real-time protection, although it lacks web and email security features. The biggest pro of Avira's free is just how many tools are available, including a file shredder, file quarantine, device optimization tools, a basic password manager, and even a VPN. The monthly data cap for it is just 500 megabytes, but it's enough for occasional use. As for cons, it lacks any customer support, not even ticker or emails. The independent testing shows that Avira has a pretty solid reputation. AV Test's latest report gave perfect scores in all categories, while AV Comparatives placed AV in the highest advanced plus tier. In my personal testing, it fared slightly worse, being able to catch nine out of 10 malware files. And while the overall scan was swift, coming in at around 10 minutes, it was really heavy on resources. My CPU was averaging around 75% usage, so it might not be the best choice for weaker laptops. Now, should you upgrade to Avira Premium instead? If you can spare the expenses, absolutely. First, it removes all limitations on features, even the VPN, and provides comprehensive web protection. Upgrading also unlocks priority support, meaning live chats and phone channels. And the software updates feature allows you to quickly update all your drivers on your Windows device. It's a valuable tool for any beginner. Malwarebytes is up next, standing as one of the best antivirus for Windows options. Malwarebytes offers a free plan and a trial version of its premium, so you can test the difference by yourself. The main downside of the free version is the lack of real-time protection and a firewall. Overall, Malwarebytes is all about fighting threats. It doesn't include any flashy extras like parental controls or password manager in its base plans. The main difference between the free and premium is the level of protection against different threats, ransomware, brute force attacks, or fake websites. That last one comes as part of the Browser Guard ad blocker. 
Okay, but how effective is malware bites at biting that malware? According to AV test, it got nearly perfect scores, detracting half a point from performance and protection. During my own testing, malware bites performed decently, successfully finding seven out of 10 threats. Now, one thing to note is that it's very light on resources. Only around 20% of my CPU was used, even during a custom full scan, so definitely recommended for weaker devices. Though the scan time can reach up to 25 to 30 minutes, I guess you trade speed for optimization. I sort of touched on the premium version and its benefits. Free is good for removing threats that already occupy your device, and premium is for constant proactive protection. But I also want to mention the VPN that's included in more expensive plans. It's pretty good, covering 42 plus countries with over 500 servers. So I would recommend going with the plus plans for the best value. And don't forget that discount link in the description. Well, we sort of ran out of best free antivirus for PC providers that are reliable and secure. But don't worry, if you still didn't find your match, I have some free trials you can use. First, Norton 360's seven day free trial is available for any plan of your choice. This trial grants you access to all premium features with the only drawback being the requirement of payment details. Additionally, unlike many others, Norton Antivirus offers an extended 60 day money back guarantee. When you tally everything up, you can effectively safeguard your PC for two months at virtually no cost. Since it's not a free plan, everything is included from the get-go. Norton plans boast real-time protection, malware scans, a smart firewall, cloud backups, system optimization tools, and a password manager. You can even add parental controls or a VPN to your package. So as you see, there's a lot, and it can be detrimental, since Norton likes to open new tabs for everything, and it gets annoying. Norton security is no joke, and a long history of nearly perfect independent testing results proves this, just like in the latest AV test report. AV comparatives this time gave Norton the rank of advanced, citing a few false positives. In my own testing, Norton, despite its swift scan speed of around eight minutes, found eight out of 10 files. It's a good result, but with a history like this, there's room to improve, like performance. Don't get me wrong, Norton is way better now, but it still uses around 80% of my CPU. What might be surprising is that one of my best free antivirus 2024 recommendations is Surfshark. Yes, that's Surfshark. It now includes a full-on antivirus, coming with everything you need, system scanning, real-time protection, and even anti-phishing measures. While there is a lack of a firewall or parental controls, the Surfshark One subscription has a great value. In addition to the VPN that allows for unlimited simultaneous connections, this bundle includes secure search and alert. The former removes bias and shady links when you're searching for something online, while the latter detects leaked or stolen data associated with you and lets you know. But how can you use Surfshark antivirus for free? Well, first we need to take advantage of the seven day free trial and then leverage the 30 day money back guarantee. It's worth noting that the trial registration must be done through Mac, iOS, or Android devices. After that, the trial can then be applied across all platforms. By referring friends, you have the opportunity to earn more free time on your Surfshark subscription. Accumulating 20 referrals yields an impressive two years of Surfshark for free. All you have to do now is have 20 friends. Since Surfshark antivirus is relatively new, independent testing has been limited. AV tests conducted in December of 22 revealed it detected no false positives, but got slightly lower scores in performance and protection. Of course, this just gives me more incentive to conduct my own testing. In it, Surfshark managed to detect eight out of 10 files. The full system scan was pretty swift, clocking in at around eight minutes. But what surprised me most was just how light it was on resources. My CPU usage was around 50%, so it should be perfect for older devices. So to sum up my best free antivirus for Windows 11 recommendations video, if you don't need anything specific, just strong protection, go with Total AV antivirus. If you're looking for something more advanced, Norton should be perfect. And if you want a combo with a VPN, check out Surfshark antivirus. Again, these options are perfect for basic online usage, but if you can, I highly recommend grabbing premium subscriptions and getting all the security features and improvements. All right, so what is your experience with free antivirus for Windows 11 or any other operating system for that matter? Is it all positive or do you have some nightmare stories to tell? Oh, and you can find more lists like these or full antivirus for Windows 11 reviews by subscribing to the channel. I'll be grateful if you hit that like button and I'll see you all next time.